Hey guys, it's Sope here on ICRT FM 100. Hey everyone, uh, listeners and also viewers of ICRTs. Uh, today we're reaching out once again and uh, we are going to Germany for the first time. So joining us is a DJ who is coming up especially here on in Taiwan on the digital streaming charts. Uh, his uh, DJ name is uh, DJ Topic, and it's Tobias joining us on ICRT. What's up, DJ Topic? Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> you started uh, being a DJ when you were 16, at, like a very young age. How did you get into it? I actually became a DJ uh, later, like was 23 or something. I oh. became a music producer when I was 16. Mm -hmm. And I got into it because uh, of my music teacher. He showed us in, 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 in the school just how to produce music and logic. And I really got hooked to it. And uh, then it became a hobby and I just made music for five, six years uh, just for fun. And then it got bigger and bigger. So. That's so, how I got into it. So you didn't step into becoming a disc jockey until you were 23? Yeah, oh, exactly. That's yeah. interesting because that's kind of the reverse for a lot of people. A lot yeah. of people become a DJ first and then produce. Yeah, it's true. Uh, Did like, you? Well, for me, it was the other way around. Like I was producing dance music and everyone said like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta be DJing. And I was always like, nah. I'm not a DJ. <laughs> so growing up, growing up uh, because because you're from Germany, there are a lot of great DJs coming from your side of the world. I grew up with ATB, but now we have you know Paul Van Dyke, we have uh, DJ Z, Robin Schultz. Who were your you know producers that you looked up to when you first got into music? When I uh, like in the beginning, when I was just producing music, it was uh, Timberland actually. Uh -huh. Like it was more hip hop based. Okay. But uh, when I started dance music, it was like Swedish House Mafia, mm. uh, Martin Garrix, all those those kind of guys. Okay, so the yeah. big names. Well, Martin Garrix is uh, younger than you, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he is. But, like when I started dance dance music, he was already around. Like uh, I produced my first, uh, I, like I released my first song in 2014. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he was already around okay. back then. Uh, so you've, I mean, you've already worked with some pretty big names. I mean, Nicky Santos, you work with um, Ali Brook, and of course, this time, uh, Swedish DJ A7S. Is that how I pronounce it? Yeah, but, but he's a singer. He's not a DJ. Oh, so, or sorry, he's a singer. He's kind of mysterious, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, with all these big names, you know, who do you think is the next person you want to work with? Like, who are you looking at on your, on your shortlist? Ah, uh, there are so many names on it. But yesterday I dropped uh, to a friend of mine, like who asked me the same question, and I I told him like Chris Brown would be sick. No way! I did not uh, see that coming. Okay, so you you are interested in like the vocalist of different genre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you? Okay, did you listen? I have a feeling you're someone who listened to a very different kind of music growing up. What do you think is? Uh, one song that if you tell your fans you listened to when you were younger, they would be, you know, surprised by? Uh, probably a lot of uh, Wu-Tang stuff. Oh, no way! You know? <laughs> Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to mess with. You listen to that when you grew up? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah, you did listen to a lot of hip-hop when you were younger. All right, yeah. so, so let's talk about this new song, which dropped um, later last year. And uh, mm -hmm. Breaking Me was a production with, like we said, a kind of a mysterious uh, Swedish singer. Um, when did you create this song and what was it like when you first, uh, when did you, how did you hear the melody? What was it like when you first yeah. produced it? So we were um, in a session in Berlin in summer of 2019 yeah. when we uh, went into the session and like started the idea. And um, yeah, we only had the melodies first and didn't have any lyrics. The production was also not so far. But then we just had the song and the idea for two months and we didn't touch it. Mm -hmm. But then we went to Miami uh, for a songwriting camp. Oh, and okay. we listened back to it and we were like, uh, maybe we should finish this one. <laughs> okay, so it's been around. It's, it's been in the pocket, back pocket for quite some time. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so, well, right now, of course, the whole world is in kind of a lockdown, so you can't really travel. 
But I hear that you're still connecting with the world. Um, you're not only through social media, but are you doing gigs online? Uh, I've I've did some like uh, did some live stream stuff. Yeah. And um, but I'm honestly not the biggest fan of it because it's so weird that when you make dance music and people are listening on the <laughs> on on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? speakers and everything uh, but uh, there are gonna be some more more stuff of that I'm, I'm doing yeah all right do you know any any dates coming up uh, for for the gigs or so right now just uh, stay close to your social media yeah yeah I'm gonna post it yeah definitely okay. but I, I don't have, have it in my mind now <laughs> so look online for DJ topic Instagram Facebook Twitter do you have Twitter yeah okay yeah. and are you so on tiktok on yeah i'm also on tiktok okay so there you go follow dj topic everywhere and uh, you'll find out if he's doing a live gig somewhere even though he doesn't like it i mean i don't think any dj likes it because dance music you need to get the energy of the people right yeah exactly yeah but i mean it's not it's not that i hate it but uh, it's like i'm really missing that that part yeah. Of, of the crowd. <laughs> well, like I said, Germany is starting yeah. to slowly come out of lockdown. So hopefully soon the whole world will be and we can see see you live. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy DJ Topic and Breaking Me. Uh, YouTube video is out. How Were you happy with the music video of Breaking Me? Oh, yeah. I was really happy. Um, we uh, asked a dancer who's also on TikTok, yeah. Ilara, yeah. Uh, to yeah. join the video. And then we just flew to Lissabon or Lisbon. And uh, we just didn't really had like a big plan of what, what we do. We just say like, oh, let's try to make some nice shots and everything. And um, yeah, I really like how it turned out then. Uh, that, that's the best way to do it. And it felt really organic. And by the way, the post-production yeah. of the music video was amazing. Uh, this, the nice, nice little touches that you guys put on it. Thank you. Yeah. So go check out the music video, everyone. Yeah. And uh, we got DJ Topic with us. And uh, thank you for joining us over Zoom. Yeah, thank you.